Our world is always moving forwards, continuously creating and producing new innovative products and technologies. But our modern research and developments extend beyond our latest phone model or the newest medicine breakthrough. Some of the most fundamental research we carry out today focuses on unveiling past mysteries and rediscovering the lives of societies who shaped the world as we know it. So today, here at Unexplained Mysteries, we'll be taking a look at three recent discoveries that have provided us with a glimpse into human history. Croatian scientists find 30 new species in caves. Some of the weirdest forms of life exist in deep regions of water. Some of the craziest forms of life exist in dark, damp caves. So what happens when you find new species in underwater caves? The answer is some of the weirdest and craziest creatures discovered in modern history. Deep underwater in a Croatian cave, scientists made an amazing discovery of 30 unseen species of creatures. After spending over two years studying the deep waters of lake caves in the Croatian National Park of Dalmatia, the team were delighted to find such a rich and unique set of biodiversity hidden deep below the water's surface. Since the caves are deep below the water, very little light reaches the bottom. This lack of light has resulted in many of the creatures evolving a ghostly white pigment and almost translucent in appearance. This particular cave is full of creepy crawlies. Four types of beetles were also discovered, as well as a translucent snail. Spiders were even found to be part of the isolated ecosystem. Some of the new species also include an eyeless cave salamander that uses smell and touch to navigate around the cave systems rather than sight. This is another evolutionary development, as the species that live in these underwater caves have no use for eyes in an environment with little to no light. Croatian paleontologist Kazimir Mikulinic, who worked on the project, said the following about the discoveries. These are our rare animals, which are small and live underground. We found new species of Coleoptera, Deplora, and there are likely to be more new species which will be discovered in future. While the find is an amazing discovery for biological science, the scientists are hopeful that even more undiscovered species are active in the deep waters of Dalmatia and are continuing their search into the future. New Species of Human Discovered in a Cave in the Philippines The history of the human species is as equally rich and complex as any other species on Earth. While we Homo sapiens ended up being the only surviving examples of humans, there are many other species of humans that have existed over millennia. In 2019, the rich human species grew just a little bit larger thanks to the discovery made by a team in the Philippines. Homo luzonensis, the small human species, was found from a small collection of bones, including seven examples of teeth. The discovery is the third of its kind on a Southeast Asian island to be host to a discovery towards the history of the human species. Armand Miares, an archaeologist from the University of the Philippines Diliman and leader of the Luzonensis project, said, For a long time, the Philippine islands have been more or less left out. This, however, has shown to be the wrong way of thinking, and the island nation could be host to much more than scientists initially believed. Yasuki Keifu, a paleoanthropologist at Tokyo's National Museum of Nature and Science, also said, This discovery highlights the remarkable diversity of archaic hominins once present in Asia, in a way beyond my expectation. For a long time, Asia's role in the history of the human species was considered to be well understood. Paleoanthropologists knew that ancient human species travelled across the continent to areas such as Indonesia by using land bridges to the more isolated and remote islands we know today. However, some areas were considered to be too difficult to cross for humans with rudimentary tools and no form of sailing or water travel. Luzon, where the new discovery was made, is one of these remote locations, far away from the mainland of Asia. It has never been connected by land bridges, so the belief was that study in the region would be pointless, with teams never digging deeper than two meters in the hope of discovering human materials. Researchers in 2004 blew that idea out of the water with their famous Hobbit discovery, 
a short species of humans that lived on the Indonesian island of Flores up until 50,000 years ago. In later years, even more discoveries of human fragments were made. Excavations yielded part of a femur, as well as finger and toe bones and teeth, all belonging to three distinct human individuals. The ancient remains show a type of human with a unique mixture of ancient and modern characteristics. For example, the teeth are small and shaped much more similarly to those of modern-day humans, but one of the upper premolars found by the archaeologists has three roots, which is a characteristic present in less than 3% of the population today. Similarly, one of the uncovered foot bones shows a likeness to those belonging to the Australopithecines, an ancient group of human family relatives to which Lucy, the famous Australopithecus fossil, belongs to. Paleoanthropologist Michael Petraglia from the Max Planck Institute for the Science of Human History states that an artifact found back in one of the 2010 discoveries illustrates that the species of human present in the Philippines were hunters and toolmakers. When discussing the potentially new species of humans, Petraglia says, if rhinos can swim and get to places, certainly we can think of that. Erectus, Theresiensis and Luzonensis not necessarily just swam, but at least rafting, if not boating. It's just pure speculation, but you could posit that and make some convincing arguments. Scientists are hopeful that Southeast Asia holds more fossils yet to be discovered, and that their understanding of human history could soon be expanded even further. The Mystery Skull Masks Crafted from Real Skulls the city of Tenochtitlan, Mexico still proves to be a major site for researchers to uncover strange mysteries from the world of the Aztecs, and what it could mean for the rites and spiritual rituals of their times. Oddly enough, it appears that a 30-year-old finding at an ancient temple caused researchers to question what these artifacts were used for. The researchers were able to discover more than eight different masks crafted from human skulls. In the past, these rituals were mostly dedicated to that of the Aztec god of war and the sun, but were never used to create intricate detailed masks or apparel of any kind. This led researchers puzzled over what these eight masks could have been used to represent and what their purpose ultimately served. Researchers out of the University of Montana ended up uncovering startling evidence of who was made into masks and for what possible reason. The team discovered that the skulls were of that of men between the ages of 30 to 40 and were exceptionally healthier than the average population for their time. This led the researchers to believe that when a great warrior was killed or defeated, they were honored by being crafted into a mask that would last throughout time and be worn as headdresses or add-ons to headpieces on important figureheads at the time. But what do you make of these recent discoveries? Be sure to let us know your thoughts in the comment section below and help us by growing this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.